find out what Scotland's really like then head for the Isle of Skye and this is the way most people find their first glimpse of the island on the five minute ferry crossing from Kyle in the West Highlands. It's been called the Winged Isle because of its shape, the Misty Isle because of its weather. With its wild coastline, mountains and moors, Skye's the most popular Hebridean island with visitors and the easiest to get to. I can't imagine anyone better to meet me than Mr. Scotland himself, Andy Stewart, the man whose Highland swagger has melted many a heart. Hello, Carl. Hi. Welcome Hi. to Sky. <laughs> Kate Millipalcher, as we see here. Have you organised the weather? I'm impressed. I have, isn't it wonderful? It's yes, really <laughs> terrific. The best way to see Sky is to drive, and the roads are better than in any other parts of the Highlands. On the 30-mile journey from Kailakan to Poultree, the island's capital, you skirt round the Coolants, the dramatic mountain ranges that sweep straight from the sea to heights of over 3,000 feet. These pinnacles and ridges provide a backdrop to some of Skye's most spectacular views, and they are a paradise for hill walkers and mountaineers. Most visitors use Portree as a base and it's the closest Sky gets to a metropolis with plenty of places to stay and the island's only cash dispensers. What most visitors to Portree Harbour don't realise is that some of the country's most exotic seafood is landed right here. But not much of it goes to the home market, right Alistair? Yeah, that's right Andy. Most of it goes to Spain. Uh, to the live market in Spain. They the British housewife doesn't stand a chance. They don't see it. They don't see it. They and they pay the prices that are demanded. You were uh, saying it's, it's a good prices to be had for British housewife wouldn't compete with the prices we get from for Spain. So you're for uh, España, old it's man? Definitely for España. <laughs> Missed the Olympics. <laughs> Perched on the banks of a loch, proud Dunvegan Castle has long been the stronghold of one of the island's biggest clans, the MacLeods. Well, I'm very impressed by the fact that we're here in Dunvegan Castle in the dining room, surrounded by 700 years of MacLeod history. Yeah. That's a lot of porridge. It sure is. In fact, this place feels very lived in, though. Is, is there somebody here? Well, yes, the present chief does live here. And the history doesn't end there because the fairy flag is also here and the MacLeods believe if anything happens to that, they're in big trouble. Well, no wonder they look after it. <laughs> now, we're into Barbara Carton territory here. Carol, this is really romantic. This is a lock. Bonnie Prince Charles Edward Stewart here that he presented to Flora MacDonald after she took him over the sea to sky. What could be more romantic than that? <laughs> There's plenty more to see at Dunvegan, including my favourite, a trip out onto Loch Dunvegan to see the seal colonies close up. Sky's a bit like the Scots themselves, really. At first it seems harsh, rugged and fiercely independent. But get to know it a bit better and you'll find an infinite warmth and gentle beauty. Head south and you'll find a lusher and greener sky and much more of a feel of the Gaelic culture. Here at Salmorostig College, students are taught subjects like computing and accountancy all in Gaelic and during the summer months visitors can take short courses in everything from Gaelic itself to dancing and would you believe playing the bagpipes. Right here in Skye on the shores of Loch Harport at Talisker Distillery they produce a whisky that is a byword for excellence. Talisker whiskey itself. Even Robert Louis Stevenson singled it out for mention. The king of drinks as I perceive it. Talisker Isla or Glenlivet. One of the prettiest places for a stroll on the island is in the lush gardens of the Clandonald Centre on the Slate Peninsula. During the summer there are even wildlife workshops here for children. Remember, in Scotland, trees and water mean midges, and their bite is definitely worse than their buzz. So be prepared and try and bring the strongest repellents you can lay your hands on. Uh, I've just come down from the Isle of Skye on the Hoover in Meg, and I'm awfully shy, and the last is shot. When I go by, head down, I'll wear you through the wind, low, high, let the wind blow, low, through the streets, and my kids are low. All the lasses say, hello. Alas, it took me to a ball and it was with 
day in the hall, and I was fit to die with fall, but I had me on the throes, and the wind blow high, and the wind blow low, through the streets and the pits I go, all the lassies say hello, and I don't know where you throws on. Nightlife here all revolves around the pub and the main topic of conversation at the moment seems to be all about plans to build a new bridge to Sky. The bridge will replace our ferry trip from Kyle to Kailakin, but it's a controversial subject among the locals. It's, it's going to take away from the scenic beauty of, the, of Kyle. Uh, but I think the, the bridge would be a, a, a tremendous benefit. For a relaxed get-away-from-it-all holiday, it's definitely worth making the effort to cross over the sea to sky and enjoy some of its stunning scenery. But I wouldn't leave it too long if I were you, because one of the best views of the island is about to disappear forever. So, some facts about Skye. Getting there, whilst most people drive, there are daily flights to Inverness, and from there you can get a train to the Kyle of Lacalche. Coaches also run from Glasgow and Inverness to Skye. Carol visited the fishing village of Portree in the north. She then went to Dunvegan Castle and the Clan Donald Centre in the south. The ferry crossing from Kyle to Kylakin is £7.70 return. Bed and breakfast in Portree starts at £13 a night. Entrance to Dunvegan Castle costs £3.50 for adults, £3 for senior citizens and children. A boat trip to visit the seals is £2.95 for adults, £2 for children. Entrance to the Clan Donald Centre is £3 for adults, £2 for children and senior citizens.